Hey folks, this is Ben Gessel. How's it going? Well, I'm at the Lake City Farmers Market today, Thursday, July 11th, 2019. Um, and uh, anyway, just before I get into this video a little bit, um, I should mention that I do have a, a music video up. It's called Improvisation Number One. And again, it's not for people to. Uh, yeah, if anyone if anyone claims it as their own and tries to make money off of it, that's going to be a big no-no, to say the very least. So, just for you guys listening and enjoyment, but you know it's, it is up there. So, although I've had some trouble buffering the video, it's still it's up. So, depending on if you, how people like the video, I might make more. Whatever it was just requested. So anyway, back here at the market, um, I haven't been to a farmers market yet this summer been busy teaching lessons all most of the time when these things are going on so I'm kind of happy that I have some good chunk of time I have the day off really to kind of peruse the market um, so in our efforts to not really film people um, I probably won't do a whole lot of that but let's just give you guys a taste of what is going on here at least so and I'm not gonna buy anything for a bit I'm just gonna walk around here a bit talk but, um, so it looks like we got uh, oh, some berries. No. Okay. We got uh, flowers and oh gosh, dog <laughs> and uh, some honey, I think, or something along those lines. Kombucha. Hating farmers berries. I love those guys. Uh, wines and breads and this is why I love farmers markets. They always have the good stuff. More berries. I always have the feeling when I come to these places that all the berries are gonna get sold out and not gonna have any left for me. Tons of rainier cherries are over there. Tons of rainier cherries. Holy cow! More rainier cherries and peaches and oh my gosh. But yeah, I always have the feeling that they're gonna everybody's gonna buy all the fruit before I get there. So <laughs> that's why I'm always rushing to get stuff. It just they have so they have a lot of fruit there. I, have, I just remember they have tons of tons and tons of fruit. Onions actually, onions and tomatoes and more cherries. See, they have more cherries. Endless amount of cherries. Let's get down here a little bit. Uh, let's get some tacos and a lot of breads. Hmm, vegetables. So anybody that buys vegetables at farmers markets, I have to my hats off to them because. Vegetables. <laughs> More vegetables. I mean, it's vegetables. It's like they're good for you, but wow. Okay. I mean, vegetables over berries, man. That kind of person is gonna be slim, slim, and really, really about the nutrition rather than speak to you. So <laughs> very commendable. Yeah, oh, it's an Afghan cuisine. I'm, I, you know, I missed these guys last time I was here. Afghan delicious. Really, really good. Um, there's always a Lake, Lake City, there's this little area back here, a little nook over here. Let's see what we got down here. Parrots. Uh, we had some duck eggs down here or something a while back. Berries. Bread. There's an African restaurant that had some stuff down here last time I was here. Salmon berries, or the yellowish, orangey raspberries type. I think it's the Olsen Farms does beef and stuff. I don't know if it's Olsen that had a duck eggs. Anyway, olive oil, king salmon. So you guys get a little bit of an idea what it's like here. And this is one of the busier farmers markets I've been to. And the only ones I've been, well, the other ones I've been to really, I've been to. Uncle Tio, quite a while back. That was a little smaller. But it's right in the, right in the waterfront, so it's nice. And then, um, oh, I've been to maybe a few others. But mainly this this one, Lake City, and Uncle Tio. So I'm going to get some uh, lamb Afghan delicious here before I do anything else. So I'm not starving to death, buying everything in the store, in the whole place. It's a good idea to come down here to Seattle to have some cash on hand. I think some folks do the debit cards as well, but you probably wouldn't have some cash. Uh, $1,500 
Yeah, about the fifty to hundred dollar bar, bar park is a good estimate, depending how much you're going to get. But you, if you get some berries, it's going to it's going to get up there pretty quickly. And, but again, I think some people, you know, it just depends on the on the vendor if they take uh, debit cards or not. All right, catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.